told you I would be back. It's me and Walter again. Um, I think that Wanda might have a bit of a drinking problem because she's come up missing a couple of times in this past week. And then when I find her, she's in a drawer where she shouldn't be. I always put Wanda and Walter in my carousel. And I just don't think I would ever put her in a drawer. I think Wanda, maybe, I, maybe she has a boyfriend. I don't know, but she's here today. I'm glad I got them both with me. <laughs> Who does this with an inanimate object? Grows so close to pointers and fingers. Okay, so anyway, I'm back with another layout. Now, I have had this lacy paper in my stash probably for a good three to five years, being honest, not over-exaggerating. And I have more where that came from. For some reason, I hoard this type of paper. Anything special. I mean, really? What's special? Why do you buy it? What's more special than any photograph that we're going to scrapbook, right? Uh, this is what I'm telling myself, guys. If you need it, use it. It's yours. I, I don't have the copyright on these thoughts. But this is what I have to tell myself so that I use up my special products. Anyway, I think I might, I'm going to try to just leave this lacy background as is. I like the look of it without a background paper behind it. And when I go to put it in my scrapbook album, I think that what I'll do is either put it to the front of the book or to the back and just give it its own page. Because let's say it's in a scrapbook album now and it's pointing out. There's going to be another layout behind it, right? But I think what I'm going to do is just put a story behind this so that that's what you would see, and then you turn the page, and therefore this is all left out in the open and remains very lacy, airy, festive looking. Okay, I don't even know what brand that is. So what I did is took an eight and a half by 11 cardstock paper. And I keep saying that because you know what? Sometimes I forget that I have eight and a half by 11 cardstock here. And I will go get a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and cut it all up and waste that piece of paper when I didn't need 12 by 12. I could have used the eight and a half by 11, which most of the time is much less expensive than 12 by 12. So again, I don't know if this happens to you, but from now on, if it does, try to remember when you're doing a layout, say to yourself, self, do I have any eight and a half by 11 inch paper that I could use on this layout rather than cutting into a whole 12 by 12 piece. Eh, you know, it saves you some money. Not that I'm worried about saving money because y'all know my new motto is don't leave those kids one red cents. Spend it all. We earned our money. It wasn't inherited. Let them earn theirs. Okay, back to my joyful little family lamb. <laughs> anyway, I love her. This is Blair. And Blair is married to Kevin. Kevin is my son's best friend since they were seven and eight years old. They went to school together. And then when we bought our first home, we had pulled up to look at this house and my son was like, oh, there's Kevin from school. And they have just been buddies 
you know, they're 29 now. They each have their own families, except Kevin has a nice, good wife, and my son doesn't. And Kevin has two kids, and my son has one. But anyway, this is them back in 2006. He was already a daddy, and he was not yet, but he was getting ready to be. Anyway, this is the group of kids they hang out with. They were at my house in my kitchen. I love this kitchen. I said it in the other videos. So if you're one of those dear souls that do watch all my videos and I'm repetitive, I'm so sorry because I'm sure there's a lot of people who just watch my videos once and then they're like, oh my gosh, I can't take her again. And they never come back. And then they'll never know I like this kitchen. I loved it, actually. I, I go on and on. Look at the doorway, and that went out into a backyard, and I just loved everything about it. It was very fall-looking, which worked in the fall, but it didn't work so well like in summer, but I still loved it. Anyway, they were all gathered around the kitchen table doing their pumpkins, and look at Blair. She's so crazy. Look at her, she's going to stab this one with a fork, or it might even be a knife. And here, look at her here. She's trying to eat the pulp out of the pumpkin, and she's like that. She has a serious side, but she's also very funny, and I love Blair. Anyway, you'll see the other side of her. There it is. First she's sour, then she's sweet. And let's see. So I'm adding my pictures. They were four by six, but I cut it, things away so they would fit on this mat. And I would not say unnecessary items because I hate cutting into these pictures because, like, I wanted you to see the counter that was over here and I wanted to remember the picture that was here. And I like background stuff. Like, I'm so glad the wallpaper's there because that was the coolest, best wallpaper in the world. And might I add that it was very durable because I used to wash that thing down because pumpkin seeds would be on it and stuff. But it just loved it. I miss it. Um, I felt like I've been neglecting my Cricut. So I pulled that sucker out yesterday and cut this cauldron, I used paper doll's dress-up cartridge. I also cut the broom from the same cartridge. This is at like 2.75 inches high. I cut some vellum clouds, and this vellum couldn't tell you where I got it. It's like, oh, 10 years old. And I used my cloud punch so that it looked like, you know, dry ice bubbling up out of the witch's cauldron. And these little alphabets are pink paisley, hocus pocus, and it says A. Blair Witch Project, 2006. Get it? Her name's Blair, the Blair Witch Project, but I didn't have a T, so I just put A. Blair Witch Project. And I popped it up on dots. I was just very, what I did Okay, I was very careful when I added my adhesive, but what I did is put little tick marks where this would go, and then I went under here and just dabbed adhesive, and then stuck this down, because you have to be careful. You don't want adhesive all the way up here, and you can't put your adhesive on this mat, because then in the back where there's holes, you know, it'll be getting stuck to everything. So I put my adhesive on this and put tick marks. I said that already. I am so repetitive. That's what happens when you get old. Guys, that's the last of my four Halloween layouts for now. I do think I'm in the mat, uh, in the scrapbook mood to do some things today. I got a couple of chores and projects to do around this house called laundry and vacuum but um if i get those done i might just do some layouts i want to tell y'all thank you so much welcome to my new subbies i'm coming up on 600 subscribers look at me i cannot i can't believe i have six the truth be told 
today I want to say hello and thank you to all my new subbies and even more than that I want to say thank you and good to see you again from my old subbies. What would I do without you two guys? I'll tell you it's the fun part of my day or my week or my month and I'm just so glad I have yous and I'm so glad I can talk about my hobby. Listen, there is not one soul, no neighbors, nobody that like works at the places I go to, no family, no friends, no one I know likes the scrapbook. I mean, I even ask random people on the street. Do you like to scrapbook? Now, well, I don't really ask just random people, but if I'm talking to somebody and the opportunity presents itself at all, at all, I will say something about scrapbooking to see if they do it, and nobody ever says yes. Even at the, like, Joanne Fabrics. One time, I was in the aisle, and this woman was standing next to me, and she was friendly. She bumped into me, and she said, excuse me, and she was about my age, and so she was looking at the pads of paper, like die cuts with a view, and so we had chatted a little bit about the parking lot. We, we actually were complaining. So I say to her, I say, oh, do you scrapbook? And in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, right. She's buying die cuts with a view, paper stacks. And she goes, no, I've never really wanted to scrapbook. I'm buying this for my niece. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I can't even find a fellow scrapbooker in a craft store in the scrapbooking aisle so long story short glad i have you guys see you later from vicky wanda and walter bye